it's it's definitely very aligned with what I like to listen to um, in terms of more chilled stuff. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I have way too much energy because I just finished my morning run. I've had a big cup of coffee and I'm ready to go. So I hope you are too. We're doing something brand new to the channel. Uh, it's a band called Greta von Fleet. Um, I know the name. I do not know the music. Uh, super excited to see what they, they're about and see what they've got. I love when we look at new things on the channel, or at least for me, um, and hopefully for you guys too. We're looking at a song called Highway Tune, which was one of the requests. There's not much else more to say, really, other than Greta Van Fleet's Highway Tune. Let's see what you got. Classic old school vibes to this rip. It's so strange. It's such a contrast between what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. Um, they're so young, and the sound that's coming out of them is so classic and vintage almost. Um, guy's playing off a guitar, and uh, that's going to give you a lot of that warmth anyway, but he's got that vintage tone to it. So you can hear the clean note, but there's definitely a lot of grit and gravel. The drums um, kind of sound like they were just unpacked from a van, set up where they were and recorded. Uh, so it's that raw kind of um, not overproduced sound which i like um but again representative of a bit of it being a, a vintage or classic rock and roll um band and then you got the the shaker as well that's another thing um i think there's a shaker and that's a percussive element that you used to see on a lot of those songs um bassist is doing a really nice job of like supporting the drums on this but then even the vocals like <clears throat> his voice does not sound like it's coming from him i like it it's cool it's very different it's not what i expected but um i'm interested want to go back um <clears throat> to play the bits i'm about to talk about so you can hear it come in hopefully um very interesting there's four of them so they're a four piece band when he goes into that kind of up and down strumming with a lot of those ghost notes ghost notes are when you play a note or you strum a chord but you're not actually hitting down on the the strings you get that almost squeak of the of the plectrum hitting the the steel strings but you don't um you don't get an actual note produced out of it uh, you can actually hear that there's another guitar in the background so there's two guitar layers there now it is very possible that they just have a session guy who comes in and, and does that. It's possible that they have a, another guitarist that they're replacing and they haven't found the permanent guy yet. It could just be something that uh, could be a backing track, could be anything. But I'm very interested always to see how um, four-piece bands layer their songs to create thickness or fullness. Um, and, and just, you know, because that obviously creates not necessarily negatives, but opportunities for when they play live. Um, but one thing I want you to listen out for is not only that there are two guitars there, but when he's strumming that, he's he, there's a lot of imperfections. He's missing a lot of notes. It's not something that's, I would say, done purposefully, but it is a, has a lot of character to it. And that is, again, typical of what you used to see in recordings back in the day because they didn't have the technology we did now and they weren't able to record a million, million takes. It was quite a process. A lot of it was done onto tape. And um, so you, you did have imperfections in some some ways and, and a lot of character on those songs and you're seeing that in his guitar work, so it's very cool. Did 
did this did this band swallow Led Zeppelin? so bizarre because they're so young it just it just sounds like it just reminds me of that so much um the 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 one thing that does slightly irk me a little on 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 a lot of songs is 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 when they do in the video obviously they 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 most likely are not even half the time not even plugged in when they do the, the music video because they're playing along to the backing track and they're kind of mimicking those actions and that's fine that's what it's supposed to be but when some of the syncing isn't right with the drums and it's like just off Oh, it bothers me so much. Um, I just saw like one or two things, but but that's just me and my OCD, I think, kicking in. Um, I really like the song. I really, really like the song. It definitely sounds like that classic vintage feel. Um, but and to be honest, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that there's someone doing this. Um, I don't know how old this is to be honest, but um, I'm glad there's somebody doing this now because um, it's something that I think was. It was really popular for a reason back then. So so hopefully it inspires a new generation of people looking to create that sound. I think you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful that you don't replicate the sound and you're trying to at least put some of your own new spark or modern twist on it. But um, yeah, I like it so far. Very cool. Classic, like they've got that this this standard um riff that they got this dun -dun 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 -dun. and they're just writing that throughout the whole song. They're just gonna sit on that. I mean, when it goes into like the chorus and stuff, it disappears and makes way for especially in the pre-chorus, the build up, but it makes way for other 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 sounds. But uh, they're gonna ride that from beginning to end again. Very typical of what you'd expect to hear um, out of the sound. And uh, I like that the solo was very basic. It was very uh, melodic in the sense that it stuck to the same tempo and it wasn't. Um, I mean, in, again, this kind of music you can show off with it, but I like that they stuck to it. It sounds like the band is, is, is they definitely, um, the instruments are definitely there to be heard. And I know that sounds like a silly thing to say, but overall, it sounds like the band is doing everything it can to make the vocals stand out. Um, and he's obviously got a, unique vocal in terms of uh, modern day singers and modern day rock singers so um I, I understand why they did that i'd love to see their live stuff be very, very interested to see what they do live this is that kick drum so raw Loads of effects on his vocals. Pleasant surprise. Really happy to be to be hearing them. Um, I got to hear more stuff. I, it, it's, it's I'm super intrigued. Um, I need to hear more. Uh, I I don't want to make any any judgment. It's hard when bands use a lot of inspiration from like the Zeppelin era and stuff like that, where it's um, it's such a classic and recognizable sound that sometimes they you don't what you don't want to do is replicate it um and i don't think they did that at all but um it's definitely representative of that i really like what they're doing it's a it's your classic festival band i would love to be at like an open air festival watching these guys play but um, i definitely want to hear more it's it's definitely very aligned with what i like to listen to um in terms of more chilled stuff it's i listen to a lot of like classic rock and roll and that is this is right right kind of smack in the middle of 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 what i'd put on a playlist so very intrigued, very, very happy that they were suggested and that we are able to have a look at them together. Uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, have you seen them live? I love that when you guys comment, go, oh, I went to this festival and saw them live. Well, it makes me super jealous, but um, 
but I'm glad to know that that a lot of these bands that I'm discovering for the first time, you know, you guys have been listening to for for really long, and you can help recommend new songs and put me onto some of their live stuff, maybe. So, uh, really enjoyed that. Greta Fan Fleets are definitely two thumbs way up. Um, and yeah, can't wait to the next one. So let me know which one you think we should do. Until then, please be safe, be nice to each other, and have a damn good day. Mm-hmm.